Hello, and this is Kingdom Shell, brought to you by Stealthy Golem. This is a Metroidvania pixelated adventure that's very new, right now, at least if you're watching it currently. Um, made by Cup of Pixels, I think it's their first game. Uh, let's see what it's about. I've been curious, so let's just get into it. I don't think I'm gonna mess with any options. I have a game time totaling at zero. Uh, let's start out from the top again. We got easy, normal, potentially unlocking hard, I would assume. And this stream has been brought to you by My Cup of Cocoa. Which I have just made. Oh, beautiful bastards. Why did you shoot me in my hair? Here's my purple wave move. <laughs> I've had it up to here with my purple wave move. I'm guessing this is the big bad evil guy. Who has purple waves, tentacles, and eggs. Just your typical ensemble of evil guy. Ooh, the art looks fantastic. That's cute. This looks nice. I'm just looking at a picture from my aunt, sorry. She was a really good painter. Mm. And my uncle made this one. Pretty impressive. That, I think, is me. You're probably surprised to find yourself within the walls of the White Temple, especially after so many years of imprisonment. Within these walls, a crime has occurred. The Shell of Kingdom has been destroyed. The magical barrier that protected our lands has fallen. The kingdom has been filled with filth. The White Temple is unable to cope with it. I freed you to make a deal. The blood of demons flows through your veins. The very demons that flooded the kingdom. Your wretched lineage may work to our advantage. Help us stop the decline of the kingdom and you shall be free. Alright, here's my swiggly arms. We all have... You will be given your own overly sized gown and robe. We will give it to you. You also get some sleeves to play with. This is to ensure you don't forget your place. I whipped you a little bit with my sleeve. Now, here's a key. I do believe it's a key. I believe you're familiar with this item. I return it to you. Heaven tells us to be generous. Not only then can we find salvation. All right, I'll take it. Go forth, but remember, we will be watching over you. I don't want to be here anymore. Where's my dad? Your dad's away on vacation, remember? We told you this years ago. Go away, Joe Lysett. Oh, I don't, I don't intend to, to actually do go away, no. I guess we're gaming now. So we're looking at a bar to the top left. Looks like my health. Not sure if my circle or bar or anything is there, on, but we'll, we'll see what it actually is. I got pendant with the black glass. Can I read? Yes, I can. The energy emitted by the pendant can serve as a weapon. The shard of black glass, familiar since birth, resonates with your soul. Streams of energy emanating from the pendant convert at arm's length and take various forms. The music entirely stops. Which is a bit weird. Usually, you do a little bit of 50%. If anything. Ah... Well, 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 what do we have here? It seems like something interesting is unfolding in these lands. <laughs> Those who are afraid to dirty their hands and trust the fate of the kingdom to a half-blood. Zap, you stupid dingus! Oh, you're quite tense. Allow me to relieve your stress. That's, uh, I'll see you around, Half-Blood. What's that? Give me that. Nectar. My name's Nectar. Maximum stock. No, wait. My Nectar's maximum stock has been increased. So, yeah, this is, um, said to be a... Metroidvanius. 
game. So I'm expecting a lot of map going and going back to the map going. Is there a gigantic scroll I can pick up? Good scenery. Can duck, but the attacking is still just up there. I'm assuming this is too far to jump. Oh, the camera did want to go with me, but I'm assuming no. That gets back. Where's my wall chicken? No wall chicken so far. Gotta wait for that. Ouroboros. The first enemy being an Ouroboros. Now that's... Foretelling. Broken tower. Traveler, hear us. Will the inhabitants of Menomenomena Tower appealing to you for help? Bad people take advantage of our moment of weakness, rabbit our tower, and stole the source of our knowledge. We sealed the passage so they couldn't have gone far. Help us punish the offenders and return what they stole. Oh, so I can't use this yet. Hmm. Hmm. Sorry, this downtime has to be afforded with Coco. The attack animation is pretty interesting. I mean, attack as a walk animation. Pretty slow, but you know. If we're looking at the uh, moving animation of... Uh, what was the movement animation? Like in the Aria of Sorrow. For Soma. Soma Cruz has this stupid... <laughs> yes, yes, I'm jogging just slightly. <laughs> yes, look at me. I'm in the brisk pace today, I feel. Oh. Well, I hit it once. It got stunned by me hitting it. Picking up coins called coins. You can jump from these. They're nice. Hello. Dodged an attack. All right. I guess the exclamation point means attack. He dropped a ribbon fragment. Pressed a dodge attack. What? So I get these and I see that lantern thing, but I can't interact with that. So I got my ribbon fragment. Was that the thief? Was that the fragments? Sir? I've got the fragment. Oh, I, see. I can get the chest if I do that. Clever. That's neat. That's some good design. Hold on, do you want your thing? Is that your thing? Ribbon fragment. Thank you, traveler. All your great deeds will forever remain in our annals. You can save your progress. Game saved. Ooh, <laughs> the game lags a bit. That's good. Always want to see that. Lots of coins. Hold to attack. There's a big attack, but also hold forward to attack forward, and he does do so. Yes, that's nice. Same attack pattern, just allows movement. That's kind of nice. Nice? That's kind of a nice. Hey, sugar, that's kind of a nice. Drink nectar to restore life. So that's the Y button. Oh, screw you. No, screw you. No! The abbot said not to touch him. Half blood? We believe the queen knows the reasons for the invasion. You must find out everything she knows at any cost. The entrance to the top city through the rocks is closed. Perhaps the queen sealed the passage, fearing an attack. There's another entrance through Nether City, but you can only get there through the old witch's forest. Now hurry, Half-Blood! Oh, I tapped this one. I don't like it. Why would he be a dingus? Why didn't the other guy ever get that? Okay, we're going to jump. Oh, I could have gone to the left. Well, you wouldn't know that. Bulbous boy. Jump. 
Sir? Mr. Bulbous Boy. Okay, well... Uh, my attack doesn't reach so far, so it's uh, it's a bit tough. There's some uh, vibration here. Let's see what we have. We have a total of nothing to change. Got it. No screen shake options. Now is okay. So my the clovers represent my health. Bit hard to keep track of. Could not jump on that thing. That was in the background. Hello. An agreement, sir. Seems to be mostly coins so far in the chests. This thing is new. Top cities, the privilege of the nobility and people with heavy wallets. I can't change the origin, but I know how to fill my wallet with specky. What? Specky? Spooky? What was that? Specky! Specky! What's that one? The Bounty of the Gods. Chance to get more coins. Ask Nem 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 Tower to equip inspiration. Did I lose everything now? Don't be frightened, traveler. We expected this to happen. Our halls of memory are shattered, but there is still a place for you here. We don't remember their part, but we remember yours. And it unfolds quite differently. In a moment, you will continue your journey, but we are compelled to ask for a small reward. Just a little for their coins mean nothing to us. What matters is that you are willing to continue your path. I feel like the game is getting serious and I'm... Giving them silliness, but you know what? That's the price we have to take. So I lost a little bit of my money, but I kept my thing. Let me see. Did I keep my thing? Yes. Okay, so good. There's inspiration, though. Chance to get more coins. Applied. Game seems to be doing all right so far. Um, it's a little bit on the artsy side, I would say. Then, oh, I didn't miss the I missed the thing again. So I could just do this now, right? We just saved, so we go back here. We load up again. I'll get the jump this time. We have our things. Wait, that didn't look equipped to me. Did I say after that? Like, is it equipped now? Yeah, now it's shining a little bit. But the art definitely looks lovely. Um, it's very bright, though. I gotta say. Which is a choice. Which is fine. Wow, that was a lot of coins. I like that every coin is like... Oh, plus 69 coins. Nice. I like that every coin drops on its own. At least at this point in the game. I'm guessing the value is going to be increased. And that won't remain true for long. But I do like that idea. You see every coin drop. The enemies spawn a little bit late. I would appreciate if I can get a screen shake option. I know that screen shakes are cool and they add some touch, but a lot of us don't give a damn. Uh, which also reminds me that another thing that I'd like to take off, but is not represented in this game, is rumble vibration in the video game. That is uh, not an option and it's not on, and I appreciate that personally. I know a lot of people like the rumbly tumblies. There's <laughs> a lot of cash wobbling up there.
I would be excited to see some sort of different attack and how it's going to develop. Um, see how they're going to use the abilities we find along the way. Going to add a double jump, add some sort of dash midair. Different weapons, maybe just different magics. Like who knows? Map is pretty good so far. Noted the uh, save point and the, the area we got an item in. I don't know why they still have that purpleness to it, but they have. Save points. I guess it's just game save the easy peasy. Left and right. I wonder what would be considered the worst like Metroidvania game to be out there. Like in all respects. Like this is just the worst. Concept it can only be described as a metrovania and it's also the worst metrovania. And what would you classify? What would make it the worst, you know? Because like a metrovania is a very specific genre. Usually it part it means 2D platformer to me. But there's a lot of um, 3D metrovanias, I guess. The idea is to collect items, upgrade, backtrack, unlock stuff. Uh, but I do feel like the genre is most popular with like 2D, 2D gaming. So, that being said, I don't think you can justify having the absolute worst platformer or the absolute worst Metrovania be based on the game action just being bad. Let's say that the action and the combat was bad. Would you say it's the worst Metrovania or does the whole aspect of the Metrovania, the map, the mapping, the skills, the backtracking. It has to be a combined effort to suck balls, right? Same thing with having a combined effort to be good. Always just like, if it was a, just a platformer, then you could just totally base it on mostly just how it, how it plays. He didn't like that. At some point, we're going to find the secret here. I do believe we'll find some sort of wall. Who's these goblins? I'm telling you, that old snake nicked my key. But the wyvern hasn't been seen in these parts for years. <laughs> By the way, maybe you can open the gates yourself. <laughs> oh, the third guy's there. Hey, Goonies, what are you doing here? The three goonies, the three goons, the gooners. Three stooge gooners. The three stooges and the goonies. I never, like as a Norwegian, like, like is that the same thing? Just three weirdos? I don't know. Need crystal bell. I don't got that. So much lore. There's so much things I already know about like American culture and literature that I shouldn't necessarily know. Just I just know it because Americans talk about so much and we also have of course our American movies being very popular. Can I pin on the map? I could. Could do a, only an exclamation point. I mean it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. Was this also an end? I think so, but let me just I didn't make a marker, see? At least one marker is better than that. Let us see. Yeah, it was the big drop. I could try dropping down. Not here. Oh, and it goes bang. It takes 21 coins from me. I think at least that's what it's supposed to say. That means another exclamation point over there. Excuse me. This little potato sack. 
Not a fan of it. And there's some frame drops here and there. The screen scrolling kind of goes a bit weird. Some some optimization here, which uh, should get some attention. She runs fine now. Could be the case of uh, not testing too many different computers. It's always a thing I mean, a lot of indie games have. I don't have any more of my nectar. And um, that's a typical one. Where it's like, hey, I ain't fan of our computers. Yeah, but, you know, that's why we got testing. It's uncomfortable that all the music stops. You know, I gotta stay in this screen. Just coins. So every chest so far has just been coins, and we don't have anything to do with the coins as yet. I feel that should be a mechanic that will be introduced soon enough. Because at this point, the mechanics are... Boy has purple claws, and we can dodge. We get coins, we don't know why. And if that's the general cell, you need to make the enemies interesting and the environment interesting to look for. So, I know that the coins will be used for something. I have a, like a slight feeling that whatever ends up being the use for the coins um, will be a determining factor in how we understand. Oh, like also the first power up and also how we use coins will be a determining factor on how we will uh, judge the first impressions of this game, I would say. Because those are two important things that a Metroidvania game should consider. At least not all Metroidvania games need a shop, to be honest with you. It's always nice to have some sort of currency. It's kind of nice to have a have an idea. Like, it's kind of like a level up as well. Some Metroidvania games choose to have a leveling system. Some do not. Uh, it's just nice to have some sort of system. You don't always need currency, you don't always need levels, but you need just something to look forward to and a reason to, for example, I need to justify if I need, if there's an enemy that I feel like that's easy to grind, like do I want to grind it or do I not? I like, can justify sometimes running past them and other times, you know what, I'll stay here and grind. It just adds another level of variety where you can choose to prioritize your gameplay. If there's a good power you can get, I'll spend more time fighting a specific thing to get more powerful. But if it's not ever worth it, then what's going to happen? Well, there's no reason to fight anymore, so you just jump by every enemy. <laughs> and I can get it, like, as a... It's an easy thing to fall into as a, as a game developer. You kind of think, like, I'm making all these enemies, the enemies are interesting, like, and have... And it's fun to encounter them. And sometimes you just kind of go blind as a developer or something that you expect. Just like, let me just play around with these, um, with the, the enemies that I'm creating, right? So you kind of just expect on your own terms that I will fight the enemies that are um, approaching me. But as a gamer, you kind of, um, when you play the game, it's like you quickly judge, like, is this worth it to fight this enemy? And then suddenly all this game design, or this enemy designs might be for naught if, like, there is no incentive to ever kill the enemy. It's kind of the interesting thing about when you play more and more Souls games, um, because when you realize it a lot of the time, after you become accustomed to playing Souls games, is that often it's actually better to just run through the areas and then take the boss fights and uh, find some grinding spots here and there, which might be worth stopping for your time and uh, doing some grinding. So it, even though it's uh, well acclaimed and I truly love them, it's definitely uh, an issue. I feel like the second time you play, you're just, you're not going to waste so much time randomly grinding and hitting the enemies. That's just not worth it. Also, of course, makes sense when you're better at the game. Also something here in the blue. I'm going to map Mark it out immediately here. Looks like at least we can fall down to something. But if I do... See, here's a risk at this point. Yeah. There's been 
We were told early, told, taught, taught, taught and told early on in the game that we would jump from the bridge downwards, right? Also by these things, that we can take a leap of faith and see if there's something under. Um, and now we've had two or three areas where it has looked like we could jump down because, you know, we've saw, we've seen that it's possible. Only to understand that we lose health and we respawn on top of it again. So that's, um, I would say that's a flaw in game design. Don't teach something and then go back on it later. Okay, save. No, we have still not discovered a way to use the money. Uh, or gotten a single first power-up, except for the dodge or whatever that was. No, we just found the get more coins, so maybe this is our first power-up. It's a dude. This thing always gives me the goosebumps. Silent crystals with dead wishes inside. They've always been there as far as I can remember. I wonder if they'll relate to the tower in the sky. Hmm. What do you think, Half Blood? You don't talk much, do you? Need Sovereign Seal. So now we have yet another seal that we need. And this is totally fine. But I'm becoming a little bit skeptical. There's effort put into this, and there is level design, There's some good aesthetics, and everything is kind of walking in place here, but we need to keep this show going. That looks like we can... exactly. That's a clever little extra secret there. A little nice looking. This is Santa Claus. How you doing, Tong? I'm glad my hut has become home to the sprout of the bailout tree. It managed to grow from the outer world through the magic of the shell. Amazing how much power it has. Would you have a follow-up dialogue? No, oh, same dialogue. Life max has been increased. Oh, look at that. Ain't that interesting. Um... Um, a secret that serves no purpose. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I guess it serves a purpose because of getting back up. That. Okay. Interesting choice. Hard to spot the edge of the platform there. Again, the issue of the uh, everything is very light and bright. I'm just gonna move past them. At this point, I'm getting a lot of coins. I'm looking forward to find something about the coins. I see a potential power up down here. I'm um, hoping it's not going to be a power up just by adding damage up. We'll have to see. Save points are plenty. Oh, well, there's the. Uh, Potion. Oh, here we have something. Ooh, a boss fight. Looks like it. Mr. Crow, Wind Wanderer. Okay. Decent boss design so far. if I can dodge between it and try to dodge the hurricane. You can. Nice. Sweet. Let's see if he will have a second phase of any sort. going, but that's all me. A 
Looks like he's got these three moves though, so that was unfortunate. It's not the worst boss fight I've encountered, but it reminds me of like an early NES boss fight. Or like a Kirby game or something, just like keeping it simple and easy for the kids, you know? Easier thing. Yeah, no more wind moves. Let's see though. Will he have a phase two? Seems to not have anything. Okay. It's the first boss, so it's an excusable thing. Uh, soul shard. Reuse magic. Okay, cool. Okay, at least we get something new. And those seem to be magic points. Okay, that's nice. You can shoot this thing now. The blue will be a soul shard. That regions are blue thing. Got it. Okay. Cool, cool. Got a new thing. And now we're looking for the shop. Whoops. I pressed the wrong button. That was unfortunate. Seems to go quite a while back. Doodle doodle doodle. I should remember what button that was, shouldn't you? That was a while to get to as well. Ah, it'll be fine. Did I have to pick up the blue things to region or would it go on automatically? We'll see. We're going up to the right. At least for now. Won't take too long. Those coins are hard to get. <laughs> Let's just leave it. Check. My bad. A little hasty. Okay, so, that, so purple is like the secret room. Similar to that, at least. Whoops. This is bad time. Could I shoot to get up there? I wonder what that's for. That doesn't do it. Not here. Nothing looks like you can jump up from the underside here, which we might be able to do. <clears throat> yeah, that would be it, wouldn't it? So that's the sword or the lever just to get up back here. I, I see, I see, I see. But still, use the right button, at least we can create a shortcut over here. And some extra platforms just to make it a little interesting. Hey, dude. Traitor, there we go. We White Rocks residents don't save outsiders, so buy and get lost. Magnet hands, the last chance. So these are... Nectar and these are new things. The last chance, magnet hands. I'm guessing magnet hands is coins. Because it's coin tracking distance and this is an extra life or something. Because it's attack with low health. So both of these things are just like passive, so. Not super interesting. So the shop isn't enticing as far, but we got a magic thing. It's better than nothing. There's something about this tune that reminds me of Dark Seed 2. I don't like it. <laughs> as much as I like Dark Seed's Dark Seed 2, I don't need more of it, if you know what I'm saying. I guess maybe the thing that I attracted needs to be equipped at the save point. A 
let's see here. The inspiration. Indeed, the magnet. And that's two. Out of my current only two, I think. Sovereign seal. I got no seals yet. This just reminds me of uh, Super Mario 2. Oh, that's some that's some good attraction, yeah. That helps a bunch. So there we are. I think I yeah, the magic does regen on its own. A dragon. That was just a show. Another save point. Hello? Oh, hello there. I'm Jing, the here who settle in the rocks. Though the rocks aren't the best place for here, especially in such dangerous times. I really don't want to, but it's time to go back home to the old witch's forest. Just need to gather more branches and young shoots and then I'll be on my way. Alright. I'll take the cabin in the forest if no one's living in it. I'll need more branches. Okay, I'm giving the bunnies some branches. Purple. I wonder what purple would signify. Boss fights? Okay. Herald. That's cool to have another boss fight so early. There's more like this. I'm totally in for that. Like, the boss fights don't need to be ultra complicated if... If you're going to have a lot of them. In that case, it's just going to be like fun, small journeys, which I am all for. enemies achievement so uh, I do so enjoy the just enough <laughs> enemies achievements uh Sipman's right behind there though I'll be a grown up and deal with it I'll have a sip of my cocoa I mean, what's under here? It's gonna be fun if the chests have not only had coins in them. I'm guessing some sort of power up bonus area here. Um, do we need to lead it to the end? Yeah, you do. Life max. Sweet. So now I got a full one, I think. Some parallax. They look good, but you know. Just play Blasphemous too. <laughs> Looks even nicer, so. Opens from the other side. Oh, have I heard that one before? I ever heard that one before. Well, that was a shame. 
new area. How much is the map? 9%. That's fairly decent. So far it's been kind of samey. The music has been the samey, I think. Even though we are in a newish area here. How much is the magic deal? 1, 2, 3. I think it's 4 hits. The melee one, so that's slightly better. Two, three, four. Yep. Coin attraction was a good idea to buy. At least. <laughs> yeah. Again. No need to design the pit there. The room was over. You got the treasure chest. There's nothing to go from the other side. Just don't include the pip. There is no reason to have that pip there. Other than if you intend for that silly trap. That's the only thing I guess you could redeem it for. Okay. There's definitely something here. So we'll have to mark this one, I guess. And up there, we also had something. It opens from the other side, nonsense. So here, we do have something to the right. Oh, interesting. Um... Not the intended mechanic, I would guess. <laughs> um, no, so I guess if you just land on the back side, no matter where you're going or what speed you're going in. Oh, it's where you're holding your... Okay, so it's wherever your orientation is. That doesn't make sense, but it's okay. It's all right. Something new. We'll take something new. Broken door? What's new now? Oh, my bad. Nothing. Ether Max. Some more magic points. Can I jump on top of this one? I can. The switch, and now we've opened up the door. I can remove this exclamation point. So I would say that the map design is fine in this game. I'm not bothered by this. A little bit of shortcuts. New areas kind of make sense. I'd love some more uh, authenticity between the stages. Something that would scream a little bit different. Music. I mean, these are all things that would require a little bit more time and investment, but it it should be judged just like any other game should be judged. Sometimes I hear that, um, and it's fair, like some people are more casual in development or not, but it's like if it's a game that you give to the public and it's a game you can purchase, usually I give it the um, critique of the game itself. Sometime there's a baby who made it. It's a three-year-old. He's doing his absolute best. Here comes Golem, critiques the shit out of him. Gets slightly annoyed, calls me out on Twitter. I mean, X. And we have a fight. Sometimes you play triple games, nobody even knows who you are or care about what you do. Unless you're paid, and in that case you need to say exactly these words. This game is amazing. Well, 
Ooh, what an exciting encounter. I'm always pleased to meet the Traveler. Any crisis is a chance to significantly change one's life. Here I am, too. When, when the, the dome disappeared, I immediately decided to embark on a distant journey. The kingdom is full of amazing and mysterious places. And what happens beyond the kingdom? Now oh, that's something I have yet to find out. Truth be told, just a little short of funds to embark on such a long adventure. So, I'd be very grateful if you buy this wonderful concoction from me, which I highly recommend for any traveler. And please don't mistake me for having any relation to a hare's family, because I'm a rabbit. I bring luck and sell nectar. Buy nectar? Sure. Leopold. I bring luck and sell nectar, and I'll be very happy if you buy something from me. That's Leopold's journey. I don't think we can pick up <laughs> nectar right on the side of him there. I do like the shortcuts. The shortcuts are neatly designed. There's a lot of them, and it makes sense. So that's cool. Oh, another boss sign. The dragon, actually, yeah. So already three fights, and we play the game for like 40 minutes. And this is exactly what I said, like, I don't mind boss fights being simple when they give it to you that much. So that's pretty cool. And having a lot of boss fights like this is very commendable. Because boss fights are different enemy designs that take a lot more effort. And also a lot more art design that to take place as well. I am sucking right now. Maybe I should use more madly. Can't forget that one. Interesting attack to try to dodge. Ooh. Yeah, that is quite cool. That is a neat attack. We got a challenge! We've got a bit the Drake! Wait, didn't we save until this point? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. Oh, we just didn't go here. Who is this? Hi. <laughs> oh, that was interesting. Oh! Oh, that was less interesting. Rude, that was that one. Let's see if we can shoot it. That's not that anymore. Interesting. You've created some intrigue. Okay, so that was all the way up there, but I believe the shortcut should make that quite easy of a, nerd, of a journey. Now we can uh, buy another canister of love from Leopold. We don't even need to, because this was still here. Sorry, Leopold. Let's go broke for a little bit. Guess kind of jumping through them is the better one, or just slightly going up like that. I believe this will be all his best attacks. Okay, my bad. Bah! Unnecessary for me. Stand in the middle of all of them, and then you should be fine. Should probably dodge that one. Kind of forget that I can. <laughs> no! Okay, I'm still alive. Whoa! He changed it up. I 
do without fucking up. So far. Now I'm concerned about this one. I was too focused on where you dropped it. Okay, this is personal now. Now it's personal. That was on me, though. God damn it, I have to give money to Leopold. Fine. Come here. to confirm if I could dash or not. Oh, the wing got me. So the first phase is just one, two, three. So middle, right, and left. Okay, so that is not the optimal. That's going to be a bit weird, to be honest with you. That was probably a little bit early of a heal. Yeah, well, can't deal with this a bit better. Maybe just dodging more. Still just three though. Down. Okay, better. Dodging definitely off there. Five. Woo! Took a leap of faith, worked out. That was a cool fight. And again, it was like the third boss fight in under an hour. I gotta say, that's pretty cool and nice of him. Congratulations. You've slain the old lizard. An extremely rare species, by the way. Don't you think the prize for freedom is too high? We didn't get anything, though. So what happens now? We kill the lizard. Was there anything gained? The crystal bell, of course. Crystal bell. I think that was the upper part up there. Or if it isn't, I know where it is then. is the same. We got the crystal bell. Gotta go left. How many cocoa left? What did happen to that pelican? It fell down. Stupid. Oh! <laughs> I see now. Pelican! We seem to be no friendly here. What do you do? Create a barrier, or do you? It doesn't have a health bar, though. It 
Interesting. Stupid pelican. What was that about, man? Could have avoided this. What's that? Another jump thingy. Didn't even see it, Harpy, there. Be... Wow. Did see it. Failed it. Ultimately, it didn't matter. No, the Sovereign Seal. Now I remember. The Dwarves. And uh, working ourselves back there would be more efficient on the other side, it seems. We're dropping down here. There was also something to the right, wasn't it? Excuse me. Seems like a crumbly wall, but that's not a built that we can't deal with yet. So mark that one too. Move over. We're coming to you, dwarves. But appreciate that they spawned a little earlier. So I didn't have to j run into them all the time. Jeez. Yeah, exactly. And you could argue that, like, if it tries to teach the gamer some sort of patience without rushing through, but it's kind of the fun if you can just go through and Dead Cells it. Dead Cells is a game that just feeds on your speed. Generally awards you for it. It feels pretty nice. And sure, you can take it slower, but there's still a speedrun uh, mechanics in the game to reach those certain areas and portals in a certain time frame. New music? Yes! Gnome's Caves, and we reached it and after 12%. So you know, there's actually... Things are opening up with this game. Happy to say so. You've made it to the Gnome's Caves, not bad. Just don't count on the warm welcome. The local sovereign isn't too fond of unwanted guests. I heard he went cuckoo for his wealth. <laughs> the gnomes will fiercely guard the treasures of the Mountain King. Well, they don't have much choice. Poor fellows can't disobey the chime of the crystal staff. Lack the will. Puppets. Lies of P puppets? Good game, Lies of Puppet P. Pinocchio's a fun boy. On the break of the wall. With the uh, enhancements. I don't know if that was life or the other one. Chest. Chest, please. Still, I would say that the music choice is a little... Uh, it's fine. Just not my cup of tea. When it comes to this style of games. something a little bit more um, mysterious or old-style fantasy. This is totally fine. I wouldn't give this a negative mark. I would just give this a personal like, eh, could go with a different one myself. But for being a game that's a little artsy of the touch, it, it kind of kind of works out, kind of fits, I would say. Nobody's home, but somebody might be home at some point.
Hey, Gurney. Oh, great Sentinel of the Deep, a stranger from the surface. The caves aren't the safest place for outsiders right now. As it turned out, they aren't for gnomes either. <laughs> a friend has gone missing. I've been searching for him all day. We set up a tent nearby. Oh. He shouldn't have wandered so far away from it alone. Ah, perhaps it's my fault. Shouldn't have done this to my friend. Can I trust you with a secret? Perhaps a few coins will help you. We'll confirm this. We'll confirm you. I'll pay you so you can trust me. Okay. What about the other way? If I can trust you, you give me money so I would have reason to trust you. What? <laughs> that, that was a weird exchange. I see you can be trusted. My friend always carries some rag with him. He tells everyone that it brings him good luck. Everyone knows it's absolute nonsense. To prove it, I hear that stinky rag from in our tent. Perhaps he was really upset and went off on his own for search of it. You've got the gnome secret. Yeah, again, thanks. For giving me a reason to try to look for something. Everyone make fun of me, but I know that this rag worn to holes is a real talisman of good luck. Although not getting into trouble is already big luck. Inspiration Lucky, which would do what exactly? Luck flow. Alright. <laughs> good. But I gotta say that more games have to take note of this thing entirely. Like, there's nothing wrong about having more quick shortcuts. Oh, I was apparently that low to dying. It would be cool to get some diversity with the um, main weapon, some sort of choice between longer distance, lower attack speed, some ranged normal. I know that this is ranged and magic one, but... And the big hitter. Just something like, kind of like Blasphemous decided to do. It just adds a little extra. It doesn't do, doesn't need to be much, just something for preference, and adds like a flavor of choice. You know, I like to do this one. This is more my style of playing, and you can get to choose but for that. Bubble, bubble. Gotta be said though, the controls are rather smooth, even though my attack is small, the... There's no real issue with jumping, dodging, timing. So that's good. It's pretty neat. You can, it's true. Very rare and far between. The other dwarfs. Hello, dwarves. I don't believe the Mountain King would go for it. And I always believe that he'd lead her to people to ruin. Quiet. What do you hear that? What should I be hearing? A ringing. Mm. What happened to you? <sighs> no! It's become murderous. It's that damn ringing. Oh! 
In vain you wonder, dear traveler. Something sinister is happening in the caves right now. On the dome disappeared, our king got his hands on the source of the forbidden magic. The crystal staff, the ringing of which subdues our will. Strangely, the ringing doesn't affect all gnomes, but many of my kin have fallen under his influence. I beg of you, traveler, if you encounter any gnomes who have succumbed to the ringing, do not harm them. Even though they will aggressively defend Mountain King's domain, they are still my brethren. Porin. <laughs> Just a slight look at the pickaxe deck. Beep. Got you. That's cute. Now there's like enemies we don't want to hit. I like that. That's cute. I like that. It that little gimmick. That little funny. And at least explain it. Oops. Snake. That was an unexpected snake attack. That's a catapult of poison. I oh, managed to get poison. Uh, I am slowly dying. I used my potion. Now we'll speed on to find the save point. I assumed there would be someone in the short future, and there was. Now for the inspiration. We we can't have this. Can use chance to get more coin, increase coin attraction. This is more luck flow. Now I am curious about what that means, so I'm just gonna have that in there. We shouldn't endure this any longer! The catastrophe has exposed the problems that have long been hovering in the air of the caves. We can no longer cater to the insatiable appetite of Top City. The Mountain King doesn't hear a cries for help anymore. The clinking of coins has dulled his hearing. And now he's returned to the same power that he threatened us when the shell was intact. The will of many of our brethren has fallen under his control. But we, those who've retained our sanity, can no longer tolerate the madness of the Mountain King. We don't need the King! Yeah. Well, my phone is... Alarm is going off. It's like, I, 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 I might have had a nap. Yes, sorry about the alarm there, sir. Yes! I, I, or before I started recording, I was like, lying in bed, thinking like, I might have a nap. I might not have a nap. Benjamin, there was dreadful crew. Dreadful. Black glass. Something dreadful. Begged enough to touch. It was an unimaginable nightmare. Imagine escape but everyone else. Grinorin. Turned to stone. Okay, a lot of plot there, buddies. Darny. The deliveries from the city have stopped. Got it, guys. I got it. I got you. I got it. Hey, Dorney. Oh, hi. Send some gemstones around here. So my relatives succumbed to the ring of the crystal staff, and now they're all, all up to mining. It's a shame if any of them get hurt, I must admit. I was also not quite myself for a while. But now, I just want to do what I love most. Search for gemstones. And now, you, you know, I can't hear the crystal staff's call at all. The greed? Can't cancel that attack. A skull. Well, there's nothing in between there. What's the matter now? Huh. Now there was something. That looks jumpable. No, it doesn't matter. We can jump up from here. No, 
Nope. So if that's a nope, I'll go back here then. Right, yeah, there is something over there, for sure. Yummy. Ooh, that's a bit silly, but we, we're fine. Can't go there. Which means only south, that's at the end here. Which is there. So not going to work out for me. Not over here anyway. I mean, there could be to the right. Oh, I'll double check. That was inside this place. Yeah, here. Oh, interesting. That's a cute puzzle. And now elevate. Hello. You again. Get out. Oh, no, my, my mistake. There was one here look looked just like you. Uh, stole my loot. And do visit my shop. Maybe there will be something that catches you, right? What an unpleasant fellow. If I were you, I wouldn't converse with the locals. What's this? You look paler than usual. Either you need some sunlight or you have turned pale from his words. <laughs> Never thought the demon's heart could be touched by the words of a cave ragamuffin. <laughs> ragamuffin, now that's a good word. We should use that more often. There's a word in the region as well called drabagast, which is also a very strong word. I'm led to believe there was some sort of save point or something to the right, because events happen here and then we go down again. This feels more extra. I have felt something weird. Nothing but distress and distaste. I can at least go over here. So many! I want to get poisoned. That poison was rough. So I guess we didn't. There was a path to the right and left. Ooh, okay. It's all new or old, depending. Maybe we could go earlier. Seems like it connects into the path. Dude. Oh, there we go. Aha, of course. Yes, I do remember now. Let me get back to that save point. At least now. Oh shit, can I even do it though? I can, and I did open the shortcut. And that should be fine. But you know what? Let's call it a let's call it an impression. This game, uh, it starts off rather slow. But I would say that it redeems itself. It starts to well, it's slow in a way. Um, and then the boss fights redeem itself, and then you get the magic, which is a little bit interesting. And uh, we finally get a new area with uh, all different vibes, and the art style is gorgeous. So I would say that's a plus. Uh, the game is uh, its kind of a mid, though. It's good, but I'm not blown away. And I don't feel like the way the game is progressed so far that we will have many, like, crazy new ways to play the game that will be uh, mind-blowing. We might see something, but who knows. The people that will play on will know. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. This has been the... the... what?
What? Hold on. Let's go to the main menu anyway, or something. <laughs> Let me get make sure that we got the name straight. Yes, the couple pixels who made Kingdom Shell. Sorry for forgetting, but you know. At least we know what to expect. So remember to follow, you subscribe, YouTube. And uh, I'm live almost every day on Twitch if you want to catch me there. So I will see you in the next video. And until then, remember to stay lovely, be nice, and don't forget that you're worth a lot too. Bye. Bye.